Any new dancers wondering if they should learn West Coast Swing first or East Coast Swing first need to keep in mind that both styles are actually equally fun to dance and enjoy. Many swing instructors agree that East Coast Swing is easier to teach, but that doesn't mean that it's also easier to learn. In the end, it all depends on what each dancer likes and what's easier for them. However, a popular and great advice by many advanced dancers is to start with what the local scene prefers. In other words, if the great majority of people in the community dances West Coast Swing and not East Coast Swing, then maybe that's a good place to start. In parts one and two of this video series, we talked about the origins of swing dancing and how people took it all over the US, which prompted each region to develop its own style. However, West Coast and East Coast Swing are like two children of the same family who split up when they were kids and grew up in different parts of the same country. In part two, we talked about how the Arthur Mary Academy noticed a clear difference between swing dancing in the West and swing dancing in the East. And so, it began to separate swing dancing styles in their manuals around 1949. According to the Academy, these are the main differences between both styles. The basic step for both dances is different. East Coast style includes a rock step and two triple steps, as seen here. West Coast Swing has two walking steps, followed by two triple steps, with the second triple step commonly known as an anchor step. Perhaps the most obvious difference is that East Coast Swing is a circular dance. The couple dances on a circular rotation that can go left or right. Although this style also includes many turns and wraps, the general movement remains on the set circular motion. The West Coast version uses many of the same turns and wraps, but the dancers move in a linear fashion, for the most part, a straight line. Dancers refer to this line as the slot. Speaking about the slot, it's not exclusive to West Coast Swing, and there is no evidence to prove that it was indeed the West Coast Swing dancers who created it. No one really knows when and how this practice started. According to some researchers, there are two theories about its origin. The first one suggests that it started in dance clubs in the 1930s, as a courtesy to other dancers when the floor got packed with too many people. The second one suggests that it was created in Hollywood when cinematographers ask dancers to move in a straight line rather than a circle in order to keep everyone inside of the camera. Again, there is no evidence to prove exactly how and where the practice got started, so it remains a mystery. Finally, Many dance instructors consider East Coast Swing a quicker and more energetic dance, because usually it's danced to fast tempo music. The Arthur Murray Academy explains that the fast-paced music, combined with the circular rotation and bounciness of the moves, makes the style showcase more energy. West Coast Swing is usually danced to slower music, and it has much less upper body movement, focusing more on the footwork which eliminates any bounce action on the movement and creates a much smoother look. Nonetheless, we have to keep in mind that both styles continue to grow and evolve. As dance historian Forrest Outman explains, West Coast Wing is danced all over the world, and because we can exchange information quickly thanks to technology, we can watch what people in other countries are doing and also learn from them.